Hi friends, now you are going to watch animation video of Albert Einstein AT School of Class 11. The characters are, Albert Einstein, student. Yuri, friend. Mr. Braun, history teacher. Elsa, cousin. Dr. Daughter and Stash Doctor. Einstein was in his history class. And the teacher starts to ask questions to Einstein. Einstein's classroom. At what year Einstein? Did the Prussians defeat the French at Waterloo? I don't know sir. Why don't you know? You have been told it often enough. I must have forgotten. Did you ever try to learn? No sir. Why not? I can't see any point in learning dates. One can always look them up in a book. You amaze me Einstein. Don't you realize that one can always look most things up in the books? That applies to all the facts you learn at school. Yes sir. Then I suppose you don't see any point in learning dates. Frankly sir. I don't. Then you don't believe in education at all. Oh yes sir I do. I don't think learning facts is education. In that case. Perhaps, you will be so kind as to tell the class the Einstein theory of education. I think it's not facts that matter, but ideas. I don't see the point in learning the dates of battles, or even, which of the armies killed more men. I would be more interested in learning why those soldiers were trying to kill each other. That's enough. We don't want a lecture from you Einstein. You will stay in for an extra period today. Although I don't imagine it will do you much good. It won't do the school any good either. You are a disgrace. I don't know why you continue to come. It's not my wish sir. Then you are an ungrateful boy, and ought to be ashamed of yourself. I suggest you ask your father to take you away. Albert felt miserable when he left school that afternoon, not that he had a bad day, most days are bad now. Albert lives in a poorest quarters in Munich. He don't mind the bad food and lack of comfort. He only wished his father would take him away, but no use of asking him. He hated the atmosphere of slum violence. Einstein and his friend Yuri in Einstein's house. I hate this atmosphere. But at least you have a room of your own, which is more than I can say. At least you live among civilized human beings, even if they are all poor students. They are not all civilized. Did you not hear that one of them was killed last week in a duel? And what happens to the one who killed him? Nothing, of course. He is even proud of it. His only worry is, that the authorities have told him not to fight any more duels. He's upset about this, because he hasn't a single scar on his face to wear for the rest of his life as a badge of honor. Ugh. And these are the students. Well, you'll be a student one day. I doubt it. I don't think I'll ever pass the exams for the social diploma. He told his cousin Elsa the same, who lives in Berlin. I am sure you could learn enough to pass the exams, Albert, if you tried. I know lots of boys who are much more stupid than you are, who get through. You just need to repeat the teaching in exams. That's the whole trouble. I am no good at learning things by heart. What is the book that you are regularly reading? A book on geology. But this won't help with your diploma. Apart from science his only interest is music. He also used to play violin. He once again meets his friend Yuri in his quarters. I must get away from here. It is a waste of time and money being here, for no use. And then, what will you do? I don't know. If I go to Milan, I am afraid that my father will send me back. Unless... Yuri, do you know any friendly doctors? I know a lot of medical students, and some of them are friendly. Doctor? No. I don't. Why? Suppose... I had a nervous breakdown. Suppose a doctor would say it's bad for me to go to school. I need to get right away from it. I can't imagine a doctor saying that. I must try to find a doctor who specializes in nerves. I'll ask some of the students if they know one, if you like. Will you? Thank you Yuri. I'm going to have a real nervous breakdown, to make it easier for him. I have never seen you looking less nervous. I can't stand it any longer. Keep it up, then, I've found a doctor for you. You have? Oh good. When can I see him? I have an appointment for you for tomorrow evening. 
Here's the address. Dr. Ernst Weil, is he a specialist in nervous troubles? Not exactly. As a matter of fact he only qualified as a doctor last week. Then I will meet him tomorrow. The next day Einstein and the doctor meets each other. Hello doctor. I am Albert, Yuri's friend. Hello Albert, Yuri told me about your problem. I just want to give a report that you have a nervous breakdown. Am I correct? Yes, of course. What you will do with the certificate? It will try to get into an Italian college or institute. How can you, without a diploma? I will ask my maths teacher, to give me something about my work, and that's enough. Well, it's up to you. How long would you like me to say you should stay away from school? Would six months be all right? That's fine. Six months is a good period. Tomorrow, I will take this certificate to the headmaster. Don't forget to get a reference from your maths teacher. The next day Albert went to school and got his reference from Mr. Koch. Albert was standing out of headmaster's room and then called in. I am not going to punish you. Your work is terrible. I want you to leave the school now. You mean, that I am to be expelled? You can take it that way, if you wish. But... What crime I have committed? Your presence in the classroom disturbs everyone. You refuse to learn, you are in constant rebellion. Albert felt the medical certificate almost burning a hole in his pocket. Anyway, I was going to leave. Yuri was almost the only in Munich, he felt like seeing before he leaves the town. Goodbye and good luck, you are going to a wonderful country. I hope he will be happier there. Thank you everyone for watching this video.